to do in the phone go ahead into the phone settings we have to tweak some settings go way all the way down to system to uh, enable the developer options go into about phone and tap on the build number 8 to 10 times my developer option is already enabled so go ahead there and select two options OEM unlocking and USB debugging these two settings should be turned on to do this and we have to remove all the fingerprints and password patterns pins we have set up on the device so I'm gonna remove my pattern here and go back on the computer screen and then I'll access a folder which I've downloaded the link to that folder will be down in the description then I'm gonna go ahead and extract that folder I've already extracted the folder so I'm just gonna jump back into a folder which is uh, my a one gcam okay so I'm gonna run the application by right clicking on it and run it as an administrator okay so as soon as the device the uh, application start I'm gonna click on install drivers and then I'm gonna select 1.4.3 version I'm gonna press Y and then enter then again Y and enter and one last time Y and enter now all done the, all the device, are, the device drivers are installed so I'm gonna click on HM and enable HL3 but somehow due to some unfortunate uh, reasons it doesn't work for my device so I'm gonna go ahead the device manager to see if my device is connected properly if it doesn't show up you can try to remove the USB cable and then try plugging it in again try it the one more time but it doesn't work so I had to go full developer on this so I went to the folder and tried to access the ADP folder there and I press shift and right click to open a command window here to check if my device is connected I typed ADB version to see if the drivers are installed and I typed ADB devices for it then you will be prompt on your phone screen this will be allow USB debug new era don't forget to connect your device before typing in all of this command or installing the drivers go ahead and try to type adb devices again to see if it's connected or not ok device is connected I'm gonna type adb reboot bootloader so rebooted the device into the fast boot mode as you can see as soon as I type enter the device will start to reboot into the fast boot mode like just like this ok then I'm gonna type a, some commands here all the commands will be down in the description so you don't have to worry to remember it all I'm gonna type fast boot devices so that I can check the device is connected properly or not as you can see it's showing the device is connected I'm gonna type in fast boot OEM unlock to unlock the bootloader without unlocking it we cannot do anything as soon as the device is unlocked I'm gonna type in fast boot boot twrp.image to boot into twrp recovery remember it's for temporary it will be uninstalled automatically and your stock recovery will be back there so as soon as it boots into twrp you have to select the option keep read only don't uh, swipe to allow modification so I'm gonna go back to the command prompt on a type in adb devices to see if it's connected or not not it's connected so I'm gonna type in adb shell to get me a shell okay then I'm gonna paste some command here and press enter I'm gonna paste another command then click enter and then press X type in exit and then click on enter and type in adb reboot 
bootloader so that my device will again boot into the fast boot mode as you can see it's in the fast boot mode so again i'm gonna check it's connected or not i'm gonna type in fast boot devices okay it's connected here i did a mistake i uh, press fast boot reboot before typing in oem lock you have to type oem lock to lock your bootloader just after this uh, fast boot devices command if you don't do that device will not boot or uh, will not able to get the ote updates and with it will get freeze or break so after you type oem lock type fast boot reboot to reboot your device i'm gonna type in fast boot reboot as soon as you do this your device will reboot now remember this will only enable the eis and other stuff to install google camera you have to install an apk to that apk i will be mentioning the link in the description below or you can also find that apk in the folder which you have downloaded so let's wait for it to boot I'm gonna go back into the file manager. Take the file explorer, open that, and browse that APK which you have downloaded. Okay, you have to transfer it in your phone before you try to install it. You won't find it there if you haven't uh, transferred it to your phone. So I'm gonna install that APK. Or if it is done, you have to open it. As you can see. There will be a camera, Google Camera app in the menu. You have all the portrait, EIS, and other stuff to use, just like any other camera, Google Camera application. Allow, allow. And here you have, you can start using it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe.